Well, hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, people, and a huge welcome to my Thrival Tribe. If you haven't met me before, my name is Lexi Tommy, and this is my Thrival Guide. Every Thursday, I sit down and I talk to you about how to get your life together. It's a fun little channel on adulting, and it's going to make everything run much smoother in your day to day. So keep watching today and subscribe below so I can keep coming back every Thursday with tricks and tips to make your home and life just a little easier. This month has been so much fun as we are getting spring and summer ready. And today we're going to make our little summer bucket list. It's an awesome way to have the summer focus on fun and get the whole family engaged and focusing on the same goals. I'm excited about it. If you haven't tried it before, now is your chance. I have the videos on weekly prep already, which will give you so much time in your evenings. Time you can spend exploring and relaxing and hitting up that summer bucket list. So I'm going to make sure that I link that video at the end. So stay tuned for that. So the point of the summer bucket list is to make things exciting for your family to stop those kids from feeling bored or saying they're bored, I'm bored, I'm bored, to get them all engaged in family life and family goals. Have you seen that movie, Yes Day? It's like that, but a whole summer of that in chunks. Everyone's working towards the same plan, and once they have the plan, that's when the fun begins. And you don't just make it for the kids, make it for you too make it so that when you come home from a long long day you have something to look forward to and you can soak up every last second of that beautiful summer and you can because you'll have a list of things all ready to go all set in the calendar ready to plug in on that beautiful evening it gives us a chance to enjoy each other, enjoy all the fun community events around us. There is nothing that makes me feel more successful as a mama than having a system run super smoothly at home and being able to just focus on family time together. I love sitting back at our outdoor movies, snuggling my babies on a picnic blanket bed under the stars, watching a movie, eating junk and making memories. It is what summer should be. I spent many summers feeling like I had missed the boat. I hadn't planned it. There were fun events I didn't know were happening and that's okay too. But there are lots of things that you can do on your at home days, your time off, your weekends that can make the most of summer. There is so, so much more than just cleaning your house and doing yard work. Get out there and have some fun. Use my weekly prep, my minimalism videos, and my bulk freezer mealing videos that are coming up this month to get you there. And fun doesn't just happen at events. Yeah, there's a ton of outdoor free activities and there's home ones for the rainy days too. Some of the benefits I found of making these summer bucket lists we don't waste our beautiful weather days. We don't have a ton of those in Canada. Getting excited for summer, it's the best part. I love that my family is way more motivated to get up, get chores done so we can get on our way. I love having that time to enjoy our family and get out and play anytime, anywhere. And getting people up and motivated and ready to go had way less resistance because it was part of our routine. We were constantly out walking and biking, doing our little scooters, doing little projects in the backyard, crafting, heading to events. It was part of our routine to get up, get off that couch and get going. And for that matter, we could because we were all set, we were already packed and ready to go. And that is the key. I pack summer go bags. They are a quick, 
grab and go system and I'll show you how to do that too. I have my main giant tote. It's already ready to go. I'm just waiting for the summer to warm up and get us going. In it, I put wipes and sanitizer, baby legs and garbage bags, things like little snacks that are to go that are shelf stable. I put in the bug spray and the sunscreen and the fun passes. Then I have a separate beach picnic bag. It's all ready to go with a few sand toys, a picnic blanket and sunscreen, swimsuits and towels, lightweight cover-ups, and of course the snacks. I have snack bags pre-prepped and ready to go. I do them on my weekly prep days. It's too easy. Sometimes I get my daughter to do them up for me. They live in a tote in our cupboard so we can just grab and refill as needed. It's nothing complicated, it's just planned. So things like granola bars and fruit strips, fruit hydration packs, little fruit cups maybe, crackers, just little bundles of like nut mix and things like that. Little snack size packs that we use to grab, throw in our bag and hold us off until the next meal. And because I'm always doing my weekly prep, I'm making the suppers ahead of time for the most part. So it's easy to just grab, warm it up and go eat outside. Throughout the years, my kiddos have eaten many suppers in that chariot, strolling around, biking around. It's a great time to get them fed while getting out and enjoying the best part of the evenings. This grab and go system was another game changer in our day. It's not really something that we needed so much in the winter or the colder months, but it was something that was definitely a survival tool in the nice spring weather or in the summertime. It's perfect to grab it and get outside. And the other things that it really changed in our day to day, it stopped our impulse buying. We didn't have to like run to Walmart to get something or run to the grocery store to grab something else. We had it ready to go. It also stopped our need to leave an event early because we had things to hold us off and we were prepped for the weather to cool down or heat up or a spray pad on the go. It prevented our need to eat out. There was no longer any excuses. We could just grab it and go. Now that you have our quick grab and go system concept underway, it's time to plan some fun. Here are some ideas on our bucket list so far. First up and at the top of the list, we prioritize our family walks. We love walking in the evening as a family. Over the past year, our family has really prioritized these walks. We do it as a family, we do it as a couple, we do it one-on-one -on -one with the kids for a special time. We've brought our friends along and our family members. It's been amazing. The outside air just works with the people in our family and it's something that's so easy to add to our routine to keep us healthy and strong. Another thing that's on the bucket list is the summer outdoor movies. In our area, they run a few free ones every year. Biking and picnic nights. Load up the back of that chariot or load up a backpack and go for a picnic. It's fun to eat supper outside, and it makes mealtime so enjoyable. Next on the list, we're gonna take a road trip. This year, I think we're gonna to head to the mountains. That's gonna be a fun trip for the kids. It's gonna be a long car ride for the parents, but it's gonna be fun for us all. Other quick things we have on the list, go exploring, go camping, go somewhere local that you haven't been before. That has not been on our list yet, but we're putting it on this year. Have a weekday campfire with friends. Roast s'mores. And somebody had on their list roast starburst. Haven't heard of this before, but that sounds like fun. Having a beach day. Oh, who doesn't love that? Rent some kayaks, or we might use the ones at my parents' place. That's fun too. Try paddle boarding. This year, I told my daughter I was gonna learn to use her ripstick. So, like, pray for me. <laughs> it's on the list, I have to do it. Virtual hiking challenge with friends. 
We already did our first one. We did it this spring. We just finished it and we climbed, virtually climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. It was super fun. And you got to see all the little things along the way. If you're interested, let me know in the comments below and I'll link the link. Take in the fireworks. It's part of the memories that I have as a child, doing the fireworks on the cool evening, wrapped up in blankets. I loved that. Midnight takeout. It's something that my husband and I did this winter just once or twice in the middle of COVID where you couldn't really have a like a date night, but you wanted to still spend some fun time together. We ordered midnight takeout and we had it delivered to our door and it was awesome. Such a fun time. Walk to get lunch. If you are stuck for lunch that day and you're wanting to get some exercise in, why not load up the kids and walk for lunch or bike for supper? It makes eating out a little healthier. One thing we did last year that was really fun was we created a chalk obstacle course and we did it with sprinklers too. So those are two that are going to be added to our list. A deck time spa day with friends, a nice summer day, kids playing in the yard, Mama's sitting on the deck, soaking their feet and giving themselves some pedicures. That's a lot of fun. A family living room sleepover. I don't just do these in the summers with my kids. I do them all year round. My kids for some reason are like huge sleepover fans. They like to have sleepovers together. They like to have sleepovers with parents. It's, they find comfort in, they find comfort and fun in that event backyard camping. So we have done this before with our daughter and she has done it before with friends pre COVID of course. But last year we built a huge playhouse for them and we had our first sleepover there in the fall. Sleepovers are going to just be so much more fun this year. Game night. My family loves board games and that's perfect for those rainy days. So when you're prepping your weekly prep, look at the upcoming weather. Is it going to be a rainy day on Wednesday? If so, game night. The next one is something from my childhood. Again, I was just talking to my sister the other day about it. She had done it with her kids as well. It's throwing on your swimsuits in the rain with some shampoo and conditioner, and it's an outdoor shower. We did it at the lake as kids and it's so much fun. This year, I have a new thing on my list. It's a YouTube hosted paint night. So I was thinking, I don't know, maybe we could separate the tables and we could have some craft supplies, some paint supplies, and we could have a YouTube guided paint tutorial work us through a paint night. I think it's a good time to have a glass of wine. Other things that are on our list, outdoor yoga, geocaching, and I'd really like to rent one of those Segway scooters. I've never ridden one before, but I know that they're renting them at our local lake. I'm gonna try that out this year. Date night with each kid. So one will take one kid, one will take the next. We'll switch another time throughout the summer. It's gonna be fun. Another new one on our list, make your own sushi. But of course, we're gonna try a new restaurant. We're gonna try a food truck. We're gonna try a new food, period. So those are three more. We're gonna take the kids fishing. We're gonna plan out a scavenger hunt walk. I love those. There's lots of printables on Pinterest. You just print it off, give the kids some highlighters. When they see it, they cross it off. It's a good time for them to work together and really pay attention to what we're seeing as we're walking. Craft day, that's gonna be fun. I'm not sure what we're gonna do for that yet, but I'm sure my daughter has about a thousand Pinterest ideas she can throw my way. The giant family doodle. So we have a huge Ikea roll piece of paper, but you could get a big bristle board piece or you can get something from your local dollar store. We all just have markers and we spend the evening doodling on it. It's kind of fun. Hang it up as your backdrop for your summer bucket list. It's going to be so cute. Other typical summer things are things like fruit picking and hiking. 
beach volleyball with friends, making a summer song hit list. I love the summer playlist that we make together. Have a fancy ice cap or slurpee day. Go bowling on a rainy day. Go outdoor bowling, make outdoor bowling on your driveway. Visit a farm or a pumpkin patch. We also have petting zoo on there. Hope those are still going. And one of the things that our family loves the most on summer storms, we open up the garage door, we put on our little propane fire and we watch the storm on lawn chairs. The kids have so enjoyed it. Something relaxing about a summer storm that's also mesmerizing to watch. This year I thought, well, why not? Like the kids are so interested in all their different activities. Why not put on a COVID friendly summer talent show with friends? The summer would not be complete without setting up the sprinklers and the traditional slip and slide. And while those sprinklers are on, why not make some marker art? Have you ever done that? You would take like regular Crayola markers and you put them all over a piece of paper, just color splotches or whatever you want. Then you throw them quickly underneath the sprinklers before you turn them off and it makes the most beautiful pictures. Have a water balloon fight, go golfing. And if you can still find a mini golf course, I think they're really hard to find. I don't know why I remember them being all over the place as a kid. But if you can find a mini golf course, that is super fun too. Some summers I feel like we have gone to the spray pad weekly. And that is something that everyone always enjoys. And catch up on our swimming. Man, we have not had a lot of swimming this year, but we're gonna catch up on that. Another thing I added to the list was making homemade coconut milk ice cream. Sounds so good. And I feel like I never have the time to just get to that. So I'm putting that one on the bucket list. Make popsicles, add paint to some bubbles and make bubble art by blowing them onto paper. My daughter added make Mexican street corn. <laughs> we have a girlfriend who's Mexican and had made us Mexican, like traditional Mexican street corn. We can never make it the same, but my daughter is obsessed with it. So that's added to the list. We're gonna try creating a kid's garden this year and see how that goes. We do kids summer journals it gets some entries. We're going to aim for more this year. Last year was like, I'd say she maybe did 20, 30 entries. It's like a lot for summer. So we'll try it again this year. It's nice to add pictures to, to draw out, to kind of remind them that they're having a great summer and to keep going. Other things that are on our list, fly a kite, get cotton candy, Having an ice cream for supper night, tubing behind a boat, having a dance party outside, or on a rainy day, maybe inside. PJ day, all day. <laughs> and volunteering and giving back to our community. So one of the things for sure on our bucket list this year that we did, maybe it was kind of more around February, we made up some meals and we gave them to our community fridge. So we have like a community fridge, community pantry program that anyone can just come and take what they need. So it's just basically an outdoor pantry and fridge unit outside of one of the pharmacies, one of the local pharmacies. My daughter and I made up bundles of fruit and like kind of like fruit platters and sandwiches and little, uh, and little sausage and cheese packs. We've done that before too. And it's just a good way for us to ensure that we are providing some food security because we can. And it's just a good way to teach the kids how to give back, how to put in some sweat equity to help another person, to think about the fortune that they have in their lives and to allow us to participate and connect with our community on a deeper level. So family movie night, that is something that we do every Friday, but it's gonna be on the list. Something that we wanna make sure that we hit in the summertime too. 
fun pizza night. My daughter reminded me the other day that like four years ago, we ordered a pizza. I literally do not remember this, but she does. And that's the important part. Like four years ago, we ordered like a poutine pizza and for whatever reason, it stuck in her mind. So I'm putting on the list, fun pizza night. So they can order whatever bizarre kind they'd like. We'll add on there, dessert for supper, learn a magic trick. We have like a little magic kit that my father-in-law bought for my daughter for her birthday and we have yet to learn a magic trick. So putting that on the list, figuring out a random act of kindness, painting rocks, painting birdhouses and building sandcastles. I'm adding five crafts to the list. I have to find those crafts yet. Kids make supper night. That should be interesting. When my daughter and I have some time, we have like a craft kit made just for cards and we make up birthday cards for the whole year so that we can just grab homemade birthday cards, fill them out. Sometimes I have them like prearranged for my mother or my mother-in-law or my father-in-law or my dad, you know, things that I think they would like. DIY root beer floats. Have you guys ever made one of these? They are so good. I mean, we are lactose intolerant here, <laughs> but you can use coconut ice cream in them. Mm, that's going on the list. And now that my kids are getting older, we can do some even more intricate crafts. So this year I'm putting on chalk mandalas. Stay tuned for that. We'll see if that works. Horseback riding is getting on the list this year. Field family soccer. So some of the ideas that I have for our upcoming walks that are going to happen right away are things like a litter hunt. So getting those little handy pickup tools gives the kids the opportunity to look around their environment as we're walking and learn what it's like to clean up after someone who has littered so that they have less likelihood of littering themselves. They can see firsthand how much better a space looks when it's clean and it gives them the opportunity to feel like they're giving back to their community. So another thing that I have marked down are the dates of local events that are happening. So I get somewhere around 10 to 15 local events. I put them on the calendar and I write on the opposite side of the calendar the information for each one. Um, this year I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to mark them down on the calendar. I'm going to find 10 to 15 that we may be interested in hitting up and I'm going to take a picture of the information or a screenshot of the information on my phone and I'm going to label it summer events so that I have a special folder on my picture gallery on my phone for this information. And as we hit up the event or as the event passes, I'll delete them as we don't need the information anymore. So getting a hold of the dates and the information for some of these fun local events is as simple as checking in with your Facebook events. Lots of times you can set it to local and it will pull up all the events that are happening in your area. It's also a good spot to check your local tourism branch as well as kids sites. Kids sites or local kids sites are the best place to find family friendly kids events that are happening around the city. Lots of times they're free and you can mark them on your calendar. So if you're looking for something to do that night, you know it's coming up. So what did you think? This is exactly what we need at our home so much fun to do and i hope you have the opportunity to do it too i want you to stay tuned in this next upcoming month because we are starting our series on bulk freezer meal making it's a huge system that i do in my home it's a legit system so stay tuned for that see they say it takes a village and now you have one if this video helped you let me know in the comments below like this video and subscribe. Go ahead and hit that notification bell too so you don't miss any upcoming videos. I want to say thank you for stopping by and investing in yourself and your life. Welcome Thrivers to my Thrival Guide. We'll see you soon.